Hello, YouTube, and welcome back in to some Let's Play Civilization 6, where I am complaining about barbarians. It's my primary purpose here today. Hopefully, you, uh, hopefully that's the riveting content that everybody wants. Me complaining about barbs. Yeah, and we could we could we could start to consider founding our religion at this stage. God with the muskets. Trader out capacity. No cultural city states makes me sad. Like I always low roll city states for whatever we're trying to do. Okay, mausoleum. Try bribing the barbs with bits. I will try that. Zon, thank you so much. Thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate it. We're getting close to uh, seaside resorts. Maybe this is where we can um, chop out Cristo. Yeah, maybe like Cristo in one of these cities because we're gonna want that. We're gonna have some okay uh, seaside resorts, I think. Even without, even without um, Eiffel. Maybe. This is my defense. Oh, come on. Are you trying to come after me? Yeah, we can build a harbor here. Okay. We're doing stuff. Hey. Hey. Build farms, barbs, pillage them. Great. I'll go the long way. We'll go around. Oh, Moller, 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 thank you so much for the six months. Welcome back. It's good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you for that support. I finally get to watch Live for a Change. <laughs> Happy to have you here. Thank you for the support and welcome on back. Hey, the rat man. Yeah, I don't know. I guess that could be Christo, but again, I have like chops planned, I think. It, it is it is disappointing that we really haven't done much with this, but it is what it is. Is live my real name. <laughs> oh, and this got erupted on. Yeah, I need some. I need some. Uh, I need some builders. I need to put in the policy before I start faith buying them again, though, because I believe we took that out. And I'm just gonna let everybody fight over my religion. I guess they all care way too much about what I believe. <laughs> Thanks for the hype train as well, everybody. Appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. So what do I want the city to do? Anything in particular? Probably not too much. Just get that.
just like I just can't. Hey Pyro. Anybody else have issues with Civ 6 game crashing? I've I've heard a few reports about it. Um from people who don't run mods either. So I, I it, it is it might be a thing right now. Um I was having some computer crashing issues, but they it's turns out they're related to my power supply. Um so I don't know. But I know I know yeah, see some several people have. Four turns on planting woods. I mean, this city could seriously die. Tons of wonders available now. That's weird, Mera. That's like super weird. I would love to condemn some religious units. Specifically Shinto ones seem fine. Catholicism would be okay, but remember we kind of like being Catholic. So yeah, let's vote for that. Production towards buildings in this district. I'm at the point where we want this to be theater square. We have a good amount of uh, Diplo favor. Don't want to burn it all. We're, we're getting a lot of money out of it. But I could maybe commit to this. Let's do that. See where we're at. Theater square and ton combat strength to Shinto. So didn't, didn't get that one, but got the bottom one. I did not remember to switch to this. Do I want the commercial hub still? So many wonders that we're not getting. It's okay. Not like super excited about it. How, what's the competition like here? Yeah, she's got about 10. Yeah, she's keeping up with uh, writers for the time being. My man. For the time being. All right, so I do want to build Christo here then, right? Uh, Danner, thanks for the follow. No, we're not faith buying the engineer. We're going to gold buy it. I'm saving my faith for parks. Simple quarter like doesn't give us that much, does it?
Hmm. Veritas, thank you so much for the four months. Welcome back with that prime. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, I guess I'm not getting uh, forbidden here. Could try for forbidden here. And just try to do a bit of a Magnus World Tour. That may or may not go well. Based on the way the game is going, it's not going to. So we got our spy out. Could go try to steal some great works or worry about envoys. No great works to steal. Go here and steal 300 gold. Go here and steal 400 gold. All right, all right. Let's try that. Like, <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. You just, you know, whatever you want is fine. It's, just don't ignore the barbs. It's, it's cool. So this I still want in. We're going to be getting a lot of wonders. Frankly, this isn't too bad either. We're at the point where I could probably cool it on our theater square adjacency. That was a nice boost for a while, but doesn't feel super impactful here. Um, I think that we're ready to drop back in some serfdom action. We're about to unlock woods. Uh, and, and we're going to want to get a lot of builders going on that. And then we're doing the Magnus World Tour. So that requires builders as well. Got a good amount of time in the era. Seven envoys, huh? I'm not even going to go and look. If they come find me, then I'll deal with it then. But I'm sick of, like, going on the offense. I'm just, like, losing units and stuff. I guess this could be Christo. And we can chop out some of this for it. I kind of like that. Because then we get the double boost. In the meantime, we can go after Potato. How did the Merchant come out? Not too bad. Uh, I could probably use like one more project. Tomb. All right, so now we have Mausoleum, um, and I don't think we have anything else to do here. Pretty much just want this theater square for these seaside resorts. Um, so Magnus should go to Forbidden. We should try to get that. Also, we uh, because of that, we got an extra. The reason I was saving this, if that looked weird to save this engineer while chopping out that wonder, it's because by saving it, we've we've got a third. We've got a third charge. We already wasted one, um, but now we can now we can look at uh, using some of these charges in in certain spots. Probably for Christo makes sense, or like some of the some of the more important culture wonders. Not that I wouldn't mind the policy slot here. Yeah, maybe it's okay. Because we're about to grab this one too. 
I'll buy this next turn with gold. Um, and then I will hopefully run another project. We're actually eking them out by just running these projects, which is interesting. And a bunch of great people on the way. So tourism about to kick in quite a bit. Sitting on 26 right now. That's really literally nothing. Um, so. Trade routes to... Can I go to Lady Six Guy or no? No? No. I'll take that envoy then. Pingala here doing Pingala things. As soon as we have a commercial hub, we can get our um, bank and stuff from the merchant we're about to get. Do I want to flip our religion? How many completed holy sites do we have? I could wait seven turns on that one. Kind of all over the place. All right, so we go from 31 tourism here. To 168. If you can walk away from water and air. Let's get our first national park there. I think that's where Arena is actually going to want to be. Uh, actually, both are pretty good. Nah, I'm, I'm starting there, so let's put Reyna up there. I just hope I don't lose the city. You buy any more great works from the AI? Possibly, yeah. We should definitely do some trades here. Um, open borders. This is in play again. Right, Tamorius. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. All right, she doesn't have anything but 27 gold per turn's good. Hello, Bafu. Thanks for the follow. He's got marble. And not a lot else. Still has relics. Would you like marble now? You would. We're allied, so we have open borders. We do here too. And here. Yeah, exactly, Chef. Yeah, what Chad is, is telling you there is correct. Chad is smart. Take that book. Okay, so after flight, we, we do want to go unlock our seaside resorts here. We could also skip that, at, or not skip it, but then after that, we're going to go right to computers. And then maybe if there's time, we'll go down for Eiffel, but I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Could go bottom half of the tech tree just for some safety here. And I want to unlock Christo the most. 
And civil engineering would be great if I want to build some builders. Yeah, you guys can have that one. Cool. All right, starting to come together. So park, park, park. So I'll just build a theater square here. <clears throat> Hungry's asking for some rock bands. I'm worried they're going to start sending me rock bands. I have nice chops here. Although this is a really old wonder. Can you do anything after that? And we can start planting woods. Start to make the the, the the beautiful world more beautiful. Trying to beautify our um, tourism from our rock -hewn churches. The game snowball click quicker with secret societies? Yes. Yep, they sure do. Tens of trees. <laughs> I don't know if this is the right spot for me to use this. All right. Um, wonder thinking, wonder thinking and planning. This, this hermitage in our city here. I think this is fine to use. Although I don't know if I want Magnus going here then. I have so many chops. No. What exactly is Secret Society? So, um, as as part of the Frontier Pass, we're getting like official content like releases every every month, um, like free ones to everybody every other month, and then and then the ones that you need to own certain parts of the game for, and Frontier Pass for the other ones. Um, and the first update they put in was was a toggleable apocalypse mode, um, where everything was like super disaster intensive and stuff. For here, um, Secret Societies is I think a way cooler one. You, there are four secret societies in the game that have unique and very powerful benefits. It also means that you get four governor titles pretty early on in the game, which absolutely changes uh, your early game strategies and what you may or may not be doing. So again, another reason why I really, really like it. Uh, but four, four secret societies that you could apply to any Civ that's already in the game, just tons and tons of replay value, uh, which I'm a huge, huge fan of. Are you dead? Oh my god. It's like it's like legit frustrating at this point. Like the barbarians on Deity AI are the hardest part of the game. By a lot. Hi Nick.
can do that. I don't know if anyone's building Forbidden. I hope not. I'm doing well. How are you? Starting to look better. Let's bring Liang back. So that's a mine. This is a mine. We want to get rid of our mines now. Uh, should have him in four turns, I think. And it's fine to take our time through there because I'm not even done with my commercial hub. Which is where I want it to go. Potato's not super important. I don't really know why I'm doing this, other than it's cute. Like, don't even understand what the barbs do, either. <laughs> like, sometimes they just sit and stare at you. And as loving as that is, it's odd. It makes me uncomfortable. All right, turn 150. <laughs> Thank you, Thalia. Just thinking about it as well. Um, where do I want more parks? What's ready for parks? Because we we you know. Ideally that. Um I can turn I can turn this area into some pretty heavy park it, uh park action, I think. I'll just have to move this raccoon church, which is fine. What other parks? What other parks? Um I could remove some pr improvements here, make parks. Probably just here actually. So ideally, yeah, see, I don't even have it. One, two, three, four available, and I have one, two. Okay, so who am I not going to? Well, that's City States, Matthias, Eleanor. Favorite things about the new expansion? Just the variety that it's offering. Um, the the new, new strategies that you can kind of come up with and implement, um, ideally. Thanks, Drake. Well, welcome in. Potato's great, too. I, the, the cool thing to me about being a Civ 6 creator is there are awesome people that are Civ 6 creators um, and are, are 
doing cool stuff. Um, and it's really, it's really easy to kind of root for other people for me. Um, I like, like, for example, there are, there are a good, there are, there are a handful or so of, of nailing it, um, kind of newish, newish Civ 6 streamers. And I really would love to see them get partnered, you know, like not to, I don't want to, no, you should never talk about that. Cause it's like one of those things that you get your expectations up and stuff. Um, but I would really love to see it. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's really easy to, to root for, um, people that are cool. And potato is cool. All right, so we're climbing the ranks a bit with our almost 200 tourism. Gotta be careful about this. Ah, yes, that can be a park, can't it? Let's make that one first. That's a mine, right? Yeah. So I can get rid of that. So not often the best to uh, put all of your parks on mountains, but it's a, it's a nice way to take advantage of otherwise kind of dead tiles. I'm just going to YOLO this. Buy a builder to plant forest there before your naturalist naturalizes. Uh, you can you can plant the woods afterwards. A common mistake. So we don't have to do that. All right, I don't need this. Wonders, builders. Faith buildings. My man. Uh, David, thank you for the follow. That wasn't a lot of faith, so maybe we'll take that one out. Welcome in. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Two turns on the project here, and then we'll probably have to commit some faith to it. We don't need this. Writers and artists. Oopsies. Very, very nice. K butts! <laughs> Thank you for the three months. Welcome on back. Looks like it's that time of the month again. Most excellent to have you here. Thank you very, very much for the support. Thank you very, very much for that. Um, we have lots of places to put great works. Magnus is here now, so we should be chopping. Go get some woods here.
I don't know, zombie. That's a good question. That is a good question. It is arguable whether... Would have been good churches too. Ah. We're going to reach cultists in this game. Yeah, I imagine we go into the uh, industrial era. I don't know how much we'll use them. Doubt if you will. I have several parks so far. I don't think I'm ever getting a trade route to Lady Six Sky or Genghis. So then I guess I'll move this here. Seems okay. All right, next turn we see how much we need to spend on Giovanni. We also finish our commercial lab at the same time. Burning through our uh, econ here. Yeah, 10 turns on the Renaissance here. <sighs> yep, almost Seaside Resort time. Yo, how you doing? Noticing your Monsa Musa game naturalist for cheaper? Yeah, because uh, part of the awesome effect of Monsa Musa, um, is it on the Saguba or is it on his ability? Um, do, 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 do. Gives you a units, buildings, and districts are 20% cheaper to purchase with gold and faith in the city, right? So your Saguba itself discounts naturalists by 20%. Because your naturalist is a unit. the chiropractor you're doing fantastic man i have been i've been on a really a, a, a really sweet roll with um like doing yoga and just like trying to stay more limber than i usually do uh and i'm i'm pretty proud of that i've been keeping up with that for i don't know six weeks feels good feels good hey oh you kidding me come on really you faith bought it or gold bought it? God, lady six guy. I dislike you heavily. I do that. It's been really helping me. I'm just finding like like my back pain is going away. Like everything is is going away. Yeah, that that sucks. That that sucks. That makes me sad. Yeah, it's not a bad streak. Just got to keep it going. 
I just need to add in cardio, and I think I'll, I'll be well on my way of, like, feeling like a healthy person. Uh, we need a bunch of Aeroscore, weirdly enough. Um... Second growth woods, so we have planted those. So finishing some wonders would be good. Yeah, yes, you should do that. That seems like a good idea. All right, take your cavalry and go and deal with this. What can I do for era score? God, this keeps breaking. So does this. What can I do for era score here? Get this wonder. What would you say is a big enough empire to win a game? Um, if you're really, if you're a decent tall sieve or you're pretty comfortable managing or you have like really good districts or something like that, the, the wider you go, the better in that situation. But I would say minimum is about eight cities, um, comfortably. The more the merrier. 12 is, is better. 16 is better. We have a ton in this, in this game. Um, but I usually shoot for somewhere between eight and 12 cities. And being married. So many spots for great works. And we're about to hit... Oh, we have two titles available, so I don't have to keep saving. I was saving the one for indoctrination here. And what do the relics of the void do? Are they just typical relics, or do they do, they do more? So I cultists purchase with faith. Yeah, maybe we can cultist down. Um, maybe we can cultist down Sheffield. I mean, I kind of doubt it, but uh, three turns, I can get a seaside resort. So the, that's era score that we can get. So as I said, you can plant woods once you've made the thing. It's fine. It's a thing you can do. I can find my religion. I mean, that's era score. It's a thing we could do. What else can we do? Do I even care if I hit a golden age? Because it's industrial, so the best the best thing we're going to have going for us is um, reform the coinage. Uh, is there a basic rule on distance between cities? It's fine to put them closer than you think. You don't have to put them only like minimum three. Um, it depends on the rest of the land, too. Like if I've got a super mountainy city, uh, give it some tiles so that it can breathe, right? But in general, it's fine to space them out. Um, it's nice when you can do a government plaza and share it between two cities. That way you get some nice di districts going early on in your game. Um, but there isn't really a hard and fast rule. So we're going to be building a lot of builders, huh? No. Ah! 
The whole palace complex is built along a central axis. Pretty late forbidden. The axis of the world. Everything in the four directions suspend from this central point, represented by these palaces. Okay, talk about the number of city advice in the context of continent splits. If you have a lot of land on one continent, somehow do you still want to go for 12 or 16 cities? You just you want as many cities as you can get, regardless of your land, regardless of the situation. The more cities, the more gooder. Um, so, yeah, just, just no. It doesn't really change if you have a bunch of... Fill it up if you got it. I mean, it might change your pacing as far as like what you're doing to, to get all those cities and all that. Um, but, uh, question, what level do you, see, you, do you usually see your tourism, uh, per turn hit for a turn 170, 180 victory? We're not on that pace, by the way. I think we'll be fine for sub 200, uh, but we're not going to get like a 175 or a 180, I don't think. Um, it usually, usually regard, like, it, it, it just happens really fast. Like, usually your tourism gets up to over a thousand um at, at kind of minimum but I, I i i don't know i haven't played with um secret societies enough to like kind of know the new pacings of things uh and secret societies does change it pretty heavily Maybe like that. We should build uh, the consulate. It's not that exciting. Prefer the shrine to the consulate, actually. Oh, nice, Dat. You guys are coming up with Era Score for me. Thanks. We're only 13 shy. We have nine turns of getting there, right? Like we've got we've got a good amount of time here. We're going to get this. I want to move Magnus. Get a wild card policy slot, which is great. More traders to buy. Uh, oh, archaeologists could do it. That'll be good. Seaside Resort here. This crossbow has killed so many barbs that it's leveled up twice. That's kind of ridiculous. All right. And so Magnus is coming here. We're going to chop out um, not the remaining of this, but Christo when we get there. I don't think I'm gonna to need to found my religion. A world without radio. It is nationalism which engine. Can you use a? Va I can make a core and army. Uh, can you? Can you use vampire castles with Dido to boost most of the cities since she can change cast capital. I don't know. That's an interesting interaction. Life is overrated. I'm not sure exactly how that would work. Um, I assume since her capital does move, that uh, yeah, that would kind of work. We have a ton of aluminum somehow. <laughs> there
There's Samara score. It's so weird that the resources have been staying. Three titles available. Um, let's go ahead and get Curator. We do have some great works finally. I could maxim, maximum level it and keep that, keep that other one in the back pocket. Just in case we need some error score there. That'd be fine. That should be fine. I'm going to try to suicide this uh, crossbow by just dealing with the camp itself. What do you retire into? Oh, an armada? <laughs> yeah, we've got tons of era score we can snag here. Classic barbarians. So yeah, do do do. Lots going on. Uh, oh, and I'm long on this video. Okay, I've gotten too excited and uh, about creating tourism. Uh, let's take a look real quick. Victory in 90 turns. I disagree. It should go faster, but we went very quickly from pretty much the bottom to the top here. Uh, now that we have actual r factual tourism. Uh, and we're just going to keep doing that type of a thing until we until we win the, the video game. So if you've been enjoying this over on the YouTubes, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to stop by twitch.tv slash the game mechanic. Come say hi to us in person on the Internet. We'll see you then.